Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Theo here. On today's video, I'm gonna give you a garage update. I know this is a long overdue video and I know I left the scene. So I'm gonna explain everything in this video. So let's go. The last video that I shot, it was a maintenance, I think oil change that I've done on my Cayman S right here. And I did that maybe three or four months ago, something like that. It's in the channel, so check it out. And after that, I just disappeared from the YouTube scene. Yes, I was extremely busy. I was planning, you know, my kids coming back from Cameroon. I was planning a wedding. I was doing some investment back home. So a lot of things, and also my work. So a lot of things really got me busy. So now I have a little bit of free time and I decided, you know what, today let me kind of update you guys on what has been going on in my life. Because yes, I left the YouTube scene, I left, I left Instagram, I wasn't doing any update. And maybe some of you, I had questions for me. So if you have any question, you know, feel free to drop in a comment below. But without further ado, let me give you guys the garage update. If you are a long time follower, you would know that I purchased this Cayman to replace my F80 M3 about two years ago. And this car is my pride and joy i love it and i've do i've done a lot of things on the car so for those who don't know i lowered the car i've recently also did um change my front rotors and brake pad i've bled the fluid i've done two oil change already during my ownership i installed the salt performance exhaust i installed the gts tail light i installed the gt4 uh, diffuser right there inside the car let me open it you can't really see it but i installed the gt4 short shifter kit in there and during last summer i also upgraded the roof to alcantara because it started sagging so this summer i'm going to go and do the b pillar also in alcantara as you can see up there just to kind of like upgrade the look on the inside of the car now right now the car you know since it's winter and i leave it parked like that for the battery not to die i have installed a battery tender that's why you have that cable going up there and then i can show a video later on to kind of explain how you have to do that for a cayman so this is a cayman s manual car six speed it is beautiful right now it is sitting on set of oz winter tires but these winter tires are normally a set that I purchased from a 991.2911 4S. So on the front here, I have 245, 35, 20. And on the back here, I have 295, 30, 20. This is wider than the factory spec. So my plan is actually to have summer tires that you see out there, Michelin um, Pilot. 4s i'm going to install those those one in here and my factory wheels and tires is actually this set right here and those are also running summer tires since it's winter i'm just going to rock this like this for winter but once summer hits i'm putting that rubber in here and that's it's going to be my summer set and in the future i'm going to install winter on my factory tires on my factory wheels and rock those whenever it is um winter time so i'm running right now five millimeter spacers on the front because the offset is 50 and on the back i'm not running any spacers this is an 11 inch wide wheels and on the front it is nine inch wide wheel so yeah i have now more grip than before and the car is still lovely lovely to drive i have a future mod right here in these boxes no it's not a cruising art it is something that is in, in there and during the summertime i'm going to install it and you guys are going to love it now for those that follow me for a long time you know that there is a car that used to sit here that is missing my e46 m3 is gone i sold it for a specific reason but before i explain it to you let me show you what i decided to replace my e46 with I decided to replace my E46 M3 with the F25 X3 35i. Yes, I know, an SUV. Why would you replace an E46 M3 with an SUV? Beats me, right? Well, it's pretty simple. I explained to you guys that uh, while I was busy, 
uh, I had my kid coming back from Cameroon, so I needed a more family-oriented car. It is true, I have the MDX, but because both of my kids are going to school and different schools, it's kind of hard to have one person dropping the kid on the left and the same person dropping the kid to the right. So I needed a car, an SUV car that is practical so that, you know, we can both be, you know, dropping the kids in different schools at the same time. So that's why I had to buy an SUV because the E46 M3 was no longer practical with the car seat because the kids are growing and now uh, they were kind of too big for the back. So I needed something that has a back seat. It's a beautiful car and it's really what I'm using now as a daily. It's my family holder. As you can see, I have two car seats here on the back. Let me actually show you really quick. So I have two car seats in the back, one here and one here. And it's great for, you know, trips, taking the kids to practice and school and you know going to do fun activities and this car is lovely now this being in 35 you will imagine it is an s55 engine and i have done a few things well by few things i more I means more of like maintenance items this car has 300 horsepower and 300 foot pound of torque now things that i've done on the car since during my ownership you know i had to replace the starter i replaced this uh belt tensioner right here i also did replace the valve cover gasket because i had a boost you know issue and the car was making like some type of weird noise so i had to replace the valve cover gas valve cover by itself and i did the gasket while i was in there i also did the spark plug and coils i replaced the charge pipe i have a metal ftp charge pipe right here and actually charge by you right there i meant to say so those are all some of the things that i have done in the car i also changed the battery during my ownership so this happened maybe in the past nine months because i've had this car for maybe nine months now i just did not share um, that so i traded my e46 for this family car because it is just it's just good you know for carrying um kids so the car came with these wheels right here the ones that are sitting on that corner right there those are the factory wheels now these wheels right here are the wheels from an x5m yes you know me i always have to have something you know aggressive so it's 275 40 20 on the front and on the back it is 315 35 20. i mean if you look at the car from the back you know it is super super wide and super super aggressive now there's a little trick that you have to do to be able to fit an x5 wheel to an x3 so if you want to know what that is or if you have any question let me know i can make a video de detailing you what i've done to be able to fit this in there but the car is beautiful i like it and this is pretty much anything i'm going everything i'm going to do on the car this is not a car that i'm planning to do crazy mods or whatnot i like it the way this it is really the family car and then uh you know this is really what i'm going to be you know doing any type of mod so let me close the garage because it's kind of cold so there you go this is really the garage of the now in terms of the garage itself as you can see the the garage is now painted with primer color so during last summer i tried to well i paid someone not, not me i paid someone to really do the makeover but the person had a family emergency and couldn't finish the work that's why you see it's kind of like halfway started and i also have now uh, this toolbox that i use now to fit you know all of my tools and parts and yeah so hopefully this summer or if not this summer next summer i will have the chance opportunity to really do the garage torvec motors 2.0 because I think it's long overdue for me to do something in this space because I spent so much time here fixing cars, being on the floor, you know, fixing exhaust or whatnot. So I think it's just long overdue for me to do something to make this place really my own, right? So I have plans, but I'm not going to show you guys those plans yet. So you got to stay tuned to know about that. Now, some of you might be asking why I decided, you know, to pick the E46 when it was time to sell the car compared to the, you know, Cayman right here. So earlier I mentioned that I was thinking about selling this car. Now my E46 M3 was paid for. This one I still have a loan that I just, I'm paying monthly and to me it made sense that at first that you know I should sell the car that I have you know some type of uh, loan on it so that I'm kind of financially free. And I wanted to get an X7 for the family but I was thinking I still have the MDX so I can use the MDX 
and just maybe get a small SUV to kind of go and pick up the kids and do what I have to do for the family. And also I have to mention that I have now my brother and sister that also came in and my sister now live with me so that I'm another member, so more reason to have an SUV. But every time I drove, the Cayman, I just couldn't let the car go. I just could not. And my plan for the E46 M2 was to own it for a very long time and eventually do a manual swap. So I started thinking and I decided, you know what? The Cayman is already manual. The Cayman is, I would say, mid-engine. The E46 M3 is not mid-engine, it's front engine, but because the engine is like so far back, it's kind of considered almost mid-engine, but it's not really mid-engine. So this car, when I was driving it, I get so much more joy compared to this because it was already manual. I didn't have to do anything else. And it looks, I mean, look at the look. It looked badass compared to the E46 M3. And also in terms of technology, it is newer. So I will have less issues with this car compared to the E46 M3. Because E46 M3, remember, is a 2002 car. So the, today it will have been 22 years old. So a lot of things can really break down and that was my daily. So I needed something that could be a little more reliable. And also if I needed to keep one car, I needed a car that would give me the less headache. Right, so I decided to just part ways with the E46 M3 and I sold it to a guy that is local and every now and then I see the car. So my plan is that maybe someday when I'm, I have more money, I can you know, ask the guy, hey, can you sell, my, sell me back that car? So if that happens, you might see the car back on the channel. But that was my thinking process. So I decided to keep it because I just could not get rid of it. I mean, that exhaust, when you hit that six seven thousand rpm oh my god it is so addictive and i mean it's 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 beautiful look at it why would you say such a thing and i still have so much joy whenever i drive this car that's why it was difficult for me to really kind of get rid of it and i decided to just sell the e46 m3 although i also love the e46 m3 but i think i love the cayman more than the e46 at this point so i decided to part ways with that because there is always a chance that you can find an e46 m3 compared to finding this in this condition in this color with just like this e46 you find them a lot it was something that was mass produced yes the Cayman was also mass produced, but the problem is that you don't see a lot of Cayman with colors, like these type of colors. You will see a lot of black Cayman, white or silver, right? Back in those days, Porsche were not making a lot of colors that they do right now. So having a color like this blue, sapphire blue, it is outstanding. It is, it is really, really... So that's it. That's why I, you know, I had to let that car go and then I purchased that F25 X3, which is the family holder. Yes, 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 yes. So if you have any question about this decision or any question about the channel, any question about my personal life, feel free to drop in a comment down below and see you on the next video. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.